This is the Fairley Stone in Fairley Parish Church. This is thought to be of Celtic origin. It seems to be stylistically the same as the Govan School and has uh, stylistic relationships with the carved Celtic stones at, it, at Inchinan Church. It appears to represent a warrior with his shield lying on the ground, presumably injured. Next is a, what may be a wolf, that possibly is about to devour him, to finish him off. And here is another beast biting its tail. So the exact meanings may be much deeper than uh, appears from a superficial glance. This is thought to be part of originally of a grave slab. This area of Fairley and Largs is thought to have been at least a client kingdom of the old British Brythonic Kingdom of Strathclyde, centred around Dumbarton Castle, then known as Outcluid, and also of Govan. Govan has a very fine collection of both uh, Pictish, Celtic, and also of the Hogback, the Norse style memorial stones. The history of this stone is it was thought to be part of a chapel, and that chapel, when demolished, some of the stones were used to build a small house known as Chapel House, and this stone was incorporated as the, the lintel above the fireplace. In fact, originally, um, it was painted black. After Chapel House was demolished, it was moved to the new Free Church Manse with the intention of incorporating it into the building. However, instead it sat out um, in the, the Manse Gardens for many years. When that church closed, the black was removed and was brought to the parish church where it now lies. It's in surprising condition, given that it's um, somewhere between the 9th and the 10th centuries. The warrior is clearly wearing armour, and he has his sword apparently lying on the ground, not easy to see. The position of his legs is seen to be suggesting that he is still definitely alive. The image of the wolf seems to be rather confused. Something in this area here seems to suggest that something else is involved in the carving. The animals tail us up there, so it's an aggressive mood. And again, is this wolf-like creature devouring its tail. This brings to mind the, the strange carvings, sometimes called the four bears at Dacre. We have the animal seeming to be attacked by a beast, then devouring the beast. So there are stories to be told, to be interpreted within these carvings.